Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce, and I'm joined again today with my friend Jay from Spiritually Raw and Gnostic TV, which is a new platform that you're building, which we can talk about at an extent at some point. But um, um, how are you doing, Jay? I'm great, Bryce. How are you doing? It's great to get in the energy, right? It is. You know, it's freaking hot outside. And I feel like everybody's just kind of like popcorn, just kind of like, you know, kind of like dealing with the weather. But, you know, here we are. Um, we, we were not able to film last week. We have been doing these like weekly videos to try to help people get into this like new mindset because you and I, I think we have this in common. We're kind of under personally we're like you know what no one's coming to save us we've got to save ourselves this is the and that is like really what i think the great great awakening is is that you're actually taking initiative to to prosper in all areas of your life and that's one thing i actually you know off camera i think i've said to you jay like i've laughed and said i need a jay in my life because you're so adaptable um, with the circumstances that come your way and anything in life, you immediately start to adapt and you start to ebb and flow with what's handed to you. And something I wanted to really focus on today, Jay, is, you know, we get a lot. I understand that when people see people behind a, a TV screen or a computer screen, that maybe there's some misunderstandings about like what our lives are like. And I get that a lot from from um, subscribers who maybe want to build their own platforms or build their own business. And they often say, oh, it must be easy for you because you have a big platform, negating the fact that I actually built this platform and you did too. And it does take some hustle, but it's not impossible. And so I kind of wanted to start with that, Jay. Like for you as Jay, like how did you, how do you motivate yourself to create spiritually raw, to create Gnostic TV, to keep mo moving forward in this 5D economy where you're not a slave to a system, a pecking order anymore? You've kind of removed yourself from that system and started to generate your own abundance. So, um, you know, I don't know, again, you know, we talked about this on your show before. I'm not exactly sure why we're here on this planet or wherever we reside. So I'm going to make the best of it. And I'm going to explore every possibility while I'm awake. And that's what motivates me. It motivates me to be like, look, we're here for a specific reason. Um, I'm not going to overthink it. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to be in the present. But I want to explore everything available to us. I want to explore every possibility. I mean, when you, you know, I think when you stop exploring, you get bored, you get sick. You get, uh, you know, you, you know, you just, you just get complacent and things, and I, and I, and I just don't really, you know, want that. So, you know, for yes, abundance is super important, um, but you, but you keep it all in balance. And I think the whole thing about this is, is I look at this. I've been able to conceptualize this life, Bryce, as a video game simulation. I really have, and that's how for for my mind is, you know, everybody. I always respect everybody's faith, but for my mind, I've been able to break it down to. What if we're in a video game and it's all about leveling up and the higher you go and the more you learn to work with the tools and the trades and who your who your who your allies are and you know in that particular level you level up and what does that next level look like so you got to keep striving for that it's what keeps me going is keep striving for that i don't feel it as like i'm in a loop or i don't feel it as if i'm like this i feel it as it's exciting you know sometimes um me in April, I'll be like, oh, man, I, I, I wish I could take something so I don't have to sleep tonight because I got so much I want to explore. You know what I mean? There, there's cool things. With that, I find that the validation of that, Bryce, comes, uh, uh, excuse me, doing that comes validation of like things like like ideas, like creating Gnostic TV, like Spiritually Rocks. Like I get the downloads like crazy. So I know like I'm as I get closer and closer to whatever that is, more and more information comes, but that more uh, information is very specific of what to do. It gets more clear of what to do. So it's not like a general, I'm not second guessing myself. I'm I'm clear, I'm concise. And so so those, those kind of things, they, they, it becomes somewhat of an addiction, I guess, if you would, because you know that you're connected and you know like, okay, I'm in a stream of consciousness. That That's a pretty cool thing. That's what keeps me going. And that's so that, and I agree with you 100%. And that's very much like the Eastern philosophy of this life that this life we're experiencing is the Shakti of the experience. And so it's the creation of a simulation, a hologram, if you will, for you to, ex as the Emerald Tablets say from the Egyptian alchemy, we only understand life because we know death. Like in these bodies, we know that there, there is a, there's an expiration date. And so that gives us the, the juxtaposition to then experience life when we're just in soul form or just in spirit form because there is no death, there is no experience of life. And I love what you're saying there. And I think, Jay, I think this is one of the biggest 
kind of um, mind fucks, if you will, like that we have to kind of break through. I think we've been, especially in the Western world, we've been so conditioned to like work, 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 work in the sense to make money to pay bills that we've forgotten that there can actually be joy in that experience. And you're so right. I know for me, like when I started my channel during lockdown, I didn't know where it was going to lead. I just wanted to explore telling stories and doing research. And when you're willing to take those chances and you do kind of have an idea of where you want to go, but you're also willing to let kind of divinity show you where to go and show you that path, the whole world opens up to you. And I think that's, um, at least in my experience, and probably for a lot of people watching, to be able to change our mindset around, I've got to do this job because I have to make this much money versus what do I get to do that I enjoy that's eventually going to bring in the bottom line as well with it and enjoying that abundance of the experience as well as the financial payoff because we are in a matrix system. We do have to pay bills like that. And there is there is lessons to be learned with having bad jobs, right? When you got a bad job, you know, I don't want to do this. <laughs> you know, you kind of have that. Then you understand the beauty of that, you know, and that's so when you started doing spiritually raw, did you have any idea that it was going to lead you where it's led you today? not even not even remotely so spiritually raw was really a personal journey for me in april because again we realized that okay there's a lot of cool shit out there so we're not ones to sit down and break down and let me read a book about it and just because you know i gotta go right so i'm like okay well why don't we interview people and get the best cliff notes in the world and be quicker and we'll get the downloads right so we actually started interviewing people and within about a year we interviewed maybe like i don't know 1500 plus people and but it was like you were getting like so much like what is life about we're, we're just learning about the mysteries of life that in itself you know whether we knew it or not manifested into into where we're at today a business right because next thing you know people were like they wanted to meet with us they wanted to do things so and and it was and it really started with us exploring what we wanted to explore right. you know what i mean it was like more like i don't want to say it was accidental per se but it was there was intent and say look we got to find i think it was like this right so it was like we got to kind of find something to do. We know how to make money doing linear things. You know what I mean? Like we owned an insurance and money lending company, very linear. You make really good money at it. And, but I don't know. That didn't just feel like an existence, if you would, per se. So I wanted to find something really cool to do, like a really cool gig. You know what I mean? So couldn't we couldn't find a better way to do it other than go through this thing of it asking people hey what do you do what, what do you what 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 is an akashic records reader what, what does that even mean right. you know what I mean? right. we're asking all these questions of people what do you mean a life coach is this you mean you don't need to have a license to be that i mean we're literally asking people how to in a in a, in a somewhat of a way whether it was conscious or not at that minute but we were literally asking people to design us our our blueprint so we would know what path to follow. And then all of a sudden light bulbs started to come across like, holy shit, you mean we can do that? Let's do that. That sounds like a cool gig. Let's do that. Let's do that. You mean you could do this? Hey, you mean you can consult with people? You don't have to get a degree to do that. I mean, all these things came were, were came out as a result of that. And through that evolved into businesses. Yeah. And that's so that and that is so following what we call in the East or and I know you know this day because you're of Eastern descent, your Dharma, like every single person has a Dharma. This is spoken about in the Bhagavad Gita. And the Dharma is different from your karma, your karma is your work, but your Dharma is in the Christian church, they would call it your divine purpose. And the cool thing about what I think anyway, spirit does is you, you kind of have these inklings towards things you want to do, but you don't quite know what until you start following that path and then slowly things start to like unfold for you and there's more fulfillment for your soul and and it's interesting as you were saying this jay i was thinking in my head like here in the western world we have our jobs and then we have our hobbies but people enjoy their hobbies more than their jobs and um do you know who alan watts was are you familiar yeah. with alan watts he had a huge speech where he talked about like and he even spoke about that like it's not necessary to have all these degrees i mean yeah if you're going to be doing surgery on people then yeah you got to go and learn how to do that you know, so you don't kill people but you know but he talked about in one of his speeches that when you find something you like to do and you just keep doing it and you just keep doing it you get better and better and better and then before you know it you've become a master of that trade and then you start to bring in that income that people because people want your advice and i and as you're saying that i'm thinking like you know we've learned especially in 2020 we've learned that as my grandfather used to say everything can can be taken from you 
literally none of us are secure. Everything can be, we saw that happen in 2020, right? Everything can be taken from you except for who you are as a person. And I think that's the resilience of human beings. And I think so many people watching right now are kind of in this conundrum from the emails I receive. And I, I, I totally empathize. I get it where they're starting to understand that my time on this earth is limited. And I don't, I'm not happy at my job. I want to do something else, but I'm afraid to leave my job, but I really like doing this other thing. How can I make sure it's going to be, be monetized? How can I make sure? And, um, and so I'm going to say before I ask you more about this, uh, Jay, before, I know I spoke, speak a lot on my channel about my time in India and studying. And that's what I do off camera now still as a job. But before that, <laughs> I actually went to school for something else and I interned um, in a London radio station and I interned at the Arts Theatre in the West End. So I have a background in storytelling and, and how to craft narratives and literature and studying Stanislavski and all these different methods of presenting stories. And so with like my channel, that's and, and storytelling is big in the South. Like we had Mrs. Cunningham growing up. She was the local storyteller. She would be so it was it was a trade in the South, too. We see it in an Indian culture as well. Listen, nobody can tell a story like the Indian. Like you, the, the native, not, not the Americans, but in India, like you look at the Ramayana, the Bhagavad Gita, they can tell some stories, right? Like, so this, this craft of storytelling was something I personally had studied in the past, but walked away from and to do something else. And then it came together once lockdown happened. And I took that initiative to just start doing it on my channel. And so when I, when I, what I'm saying to people is like, when you find what you love, there's always going to be a path to making that successful for you. And even though I know for me, I work about 16 hours a day and it's hard work. It's hard work to research, to, to edit, to film, but I love it. I mm -hmm. freaking love it. And when I started doing my channel, I had no idea that I was actually going to be doing shows with other people. Like that was not even a thought, you know? And so it's, 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 it's fun to see how, where divinity will take you if you're able to re release the reins a little bit and just let it take you there. And so Jay, you and I, we, I think we kind of work well together because I'm the freaking, I'm the one that's over here. Like, let's talk about stories and theories and, and you're, you have that side of your brain. That's very analytical and can very much, much uh, chart things out. So we've kind of talked about doing some things together. And do you want to like talk about that some more? Or? Yeah, yeah, I do, because I think the the essence of how we grow as a spirit is to help other people along the way, those that want to be helped. So it's not like saying, OK, hey, everybody, you should do this. You should do this. Listen, people watching this are going to find out if they're vibrating with this or not. I mean, it's just really as simple as that. If you're not vibrating with it, you're just not vibrating with it. If you are vibrating it with it, follow along <laughs> when the message is coming along right so you know we we've really as a human spirit we're we're looking to really find our vibrational matches and i think people watching should also be looking for the same thing we know to elevate to another consciousness and to another level of this whole existence call it a video game is by helping others that are right there they feel you they're like i want to do that too and you go along the ride so um I know you and I have been talking about putting together things where we can teach people this. You know what I mean? Like we're both big fans of, look, what, what the reason I would say, you know, I feel like I speak in confidence here in, in this, it's because of doing this show. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's allowed me to speak shit out. You know what I mean? So the thoughts in my head, I, I, when I, when I do this, they, they come out like this and then they become a reality. Then I get it. I tell everybody, I'm like, look, you want to know what the hell you're going to do? I just can't figure out a better way other than doing what we're doing right now. You got to talk this shit out, right? And you learn how to do it. Get on a show, get a podcast, you know, start doing it. It'll, it'll, if you're, if you have that kind of burning desire to be like, I know I have a purpose. I can feel it. It's in my dreams. I keep getting signs. I know what it is, but I can't figure out the doing. And you're sitting there journaling the whole time and that journaling and the, and the pens are running out of income and you're not getting anywhere. The reason being is because you're not talking it out. Yeah. I'm telling you experience we we do this bryce does it i do it, it it's it's what we do it's so therapeutic everybody uh, to 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 get to do with this it's a true privilege to have found a what i feel like is somewhat of a solution to to try to try to access those downloads but when you when you talk through it out you you start to you start to now manifest 
is what happens. You start to get into a position of manifesting because your speech gets clearer. You start to no longer talk in circles, if you would, which we all do when we don't know what we want. <laughs> we talk, you know what I mean? It, but then you start to get very clear. Then you start to get very concise because now you're you're talking more and more. It's like literally you're you're practicing, and the more clear and concise you are, the more the universe and life blesses you because now you are in clear alignment with your universe because you got you're like what's two plus two four you know what i mean you're 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 in that versus trying to explain the theory of math right. so yeah so i know you and i have been talking about well, look we, we'll help people you know you guys got to reach out to us i mean call to us uh have a have a chat uh call my number you know it's always out there and um you the know, only number i know about heart guys uh, I love it. I if i get arrested one day jay's gonna be my one phone call because Good thing he has my boyfriend's number. <laughs> oh, yeah. I yeah. you. We need your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I tell you, call the number and let's talk. I mean, let's talk about what it is. And look, if, if, if when we talk, if you feel like we're mutually a vibrational match, Bryce and I can help you. We have done this. We've we've been there. We've got the T-shirt to prove it. You know, it, it's it's not a it's gone from a hobby to a real proper business, if you yeah. would, for so yeah and i will say too because i can hear it in my head i think people are so afraid and you the last course we did you said something that i thought was genius you told everybody just to start practice filming themselves for like five minutes a day and i think sometimes people um assume because what we put out or at least what i put out because i do a lot of my own stuff is very edited it's very much edited and it's Listen, you guys, if you saw the blooper reel of even even when I film after doing this for three years, there's bloopers. And so what would you say for people who are like afraid that they're going to make a mistake or that they're going to look stupid on camera? What would you what would your advice be to them, Jay? Well, you don't have to be great to start, but you do have to start to be great. So at some point in time, you're just going to have to start. And the beautiful thing about it is, is when you're in the privacy of your own home and you record yourself and you don't like it, hit the lead and you are the only one who ever saw it. So what's wrong with that? I mean, if we can't get you to that point that no one else is going to see you other than you, I don't know what to tell you, but <laughs> we can at least get you to say, look, you're the only one seeing it. You don't like it, delete it, do it again. You'll build, you, you, look, you look. this is all about confidence. And the more confident you are, the more in alignment you are, because then you start to realize that you are literally an essence of God, goddess, or whatever your faith is, because you're, you, you know what I mean? And I don't mean that from a worshiping standpoint, Bryce. I mean that you just embody that spirit, you're right? Magic. You're so, magic. You're mad, you know, just listen, just, just, just get there and do it. So I would say, yeah, have the courage to start, pull up your big boy pants and girl pants. I mean, quit, 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 just, you know, suck it up, buttercup for real. If you want things to do and you want, and you want to do things and, you know, you're wondering why things are not happening. We're sitting here sitting with you. The two of us feel like we have a pretty viable solution. And you gotta make it happen. And that's right. the thing too. And that's what I respect about you, Jay, is you have a hustle. And I'll never forget when lockdown happened, I had just, um, so I had been assisting at AYA, the big Shala here, our Shala here in Atlanta. And finally, uh, Todd was like, you're authorized. There are too many cooks in the kitchen. You got to start your own program. And so I started a Shala up and out of a studio in the suburbs. So I drive every morning early and I would teach and I was building and my program was building and becoming very prosperous. And I was getting a lot of students. And then all of a sudden, 2020 happened and everything shut down. And the studio where I was running my program out of was a new studio, so it could not survive it. And so it completely had to shut down. And there was like a day that I sat there having a pity party, but my motivation was like, well, I'm fucking bored. I need to actually create work for myself. I wasn't getting paid. There was no, you know, when you were first starting, there's no AdSense, there's no sponsorships when you first start, but you have to put yourself out there to eventually start to build that momentum. And I will tell you guys, the very first video I shot, which YouTube did take down, so it must mean that, must mean that I was, <laughs> something I said was true, um, was the Georgia Guidestones. And I will never forget filming my first video. I had set my iPhone up. I was filming from my phone at that point. And I stared at my phone and I had all of my notes ready to go. I had grafted in my head and I just started laughing because I was literally talking to myself. I was like, I feel like it, it, but you just get used to it and you just keep going. And at this today, if I film something today, it's easy. I sit down and I just start and I just do it. Right. And, and so you do get used to it, but you have, Jay's right. In order to start, you have to start in right. order to become a master. You have to be a novice. 
You have to be a beginner. You have to learn and you have to learn your rhythm of doing it. And it's okay if you feel like it. We all felt like idiots the first time we filmed ourselves. We all hated the sound of our voice. Listen, after you edit yourself enough, you get used to the sound of your voice, you know? And so this is something that you just have to break through. You just have to break through that. And you have to create that magic because you are magic. You are, I say all the time, the same, in my opinion, the same creator that created the beautiful Rocky Mountains also created you. Are right. the Rocky Mountains in slavery? No, they're not. They're just mighty. Are they trying to compete with the Appalachian Mountains? No, they just are who they are. That's how you should be too. And so, you know, even when it comes to, because I, for me, Jay, one thing that I love about the timeline that we're experiencing right now um, is we do have all these tools. Like you don't have to at this point, you can be your own production company. You don't have to go and be a part of Hollywood. YouTube, anybody can open up a YouTube channel. Anybody can open up a podcast. I don't have fans. I have a light ring in my laptop and a, a microphone. I have no fancy equipment. You know, like it's, it's, I'm in my bedroom right now. Right. And so, so that's uh, so the questions I get too, Jay. Like, well, what about equipment? What about this stuff? Do you and April use what? What do you guys use to film? Uh, a, 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 uh, an iMac. <laughs> with a nice light on the thing and a green screen that I just popped up. I yeah. mean, the, the the expenses of this thing are ridiculously low. So money really isn't an object. Listen, if you have a computer, you're in business. I mean, that's the reality of this thing. I mean, you've seen podcasts that go viral and they have the worst background, whatever. So, you know, listen, it's just a different world we're in right now. People want to People want to feel your energy. They want to connect with it. They're trying to find their soul tribe. And someone somewhere is going to show up on some video in some time and place. And that's the person you're going to be like, oh, my God, I connect with them. And then you're going to hit subscribe. That's what someone's looking for you to do. Someone's out there looking for you. You have to really think about this because we're all, uh, you know, if there's any belief or truth to the fact that we're all intertwined then we're all looking for each other someone's looking for us we're looking for that call it's a soul cluster if you would mm -hmm. the soul tribes right so get up there put a calling out there by doing this you find you gravitate you find it's a beautiful experience everybody because you know what when you do do this you're gonna find the essence of people they search you out and next thing you know you've got a you may not have physically ever met them but you feel like you've known so many of these people forever and you start to make these very I mean, just very deep relationships that you know that you know that you're you're meeting a soul family. You know, you're not doing that in your neighbor next door in Omaha, Nebraska. You know what I mean? It's the internet. This is how you find it. You know, you know what I mean? You 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 put out your call. You start getting in something like this. You want to find out how to get to the next level. Get out on something like this. Get your voice out on media. Uh, share your message with someone. Don't worry about how you do it. Talk with passion. Talk with conviction. Talk with all the love you get. People will feel you. Your tribe will Your tribe will get you. They'll see you. They'll contact you. And they'll be like, I've been waiting for you. I resonate. Next thing you know, everything starts to go. Everything starts to go. You start having the time of your life. And all of a sudden, when you're doing that, you don't get affected by things like as much as things like sickness, if you would. Sickness is you hold shit in. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, people get sick, but you and yeah, you know, we're all susceptible to things and there's an immune system that has to help us out. But when you release this, the, the therapeutic benefits of, the, of your mental clarity start to deflect all that. So you, you start to feel physically better about yourself. You know, oh, there's absolutely. So benefits of what we do. Absolutely. I mean, I, I always laugh and say, you guys are lucky if I have pants on because I'm filming from my house. So I get to be as comfortable as possible. I get to talk about what I want to talk about. I, we get to set our own schedules. We just text each other about what times to film. It's fantastic. And it does, you know, and that's the thing. Like my, my mom's dad was a surgeon and he, he used to say this because he loved being a surgeon. But he would say, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. So true. So true. You're, you're 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 in the essence of who you are, and um and I absolutely I never thought in a million years if you had told me before 2020 that I, one day I would not be a Mysore teacher I would have told you you're crazy because I loved being a Mysore teacher but guess what I actually love what I do now even more and I've been able to share and you're right Jay I have so many awesome people that watch my channel and I'm sure watch yours too that are from all over the world that um my friend Karen from uh from from um she's in Europe I she comes to my yoga classes a lot I love her she found me on my channel I would have never had a chance to meet people and I'll be and these people from all these other places in the world if I had not opened up my channel so there's so many endless possibilities we I have a great signal group I have I have incredible people from all 
over the world that joined a signal group and my moderators there are incredible because I've Sal, Jan, all my moderators, so I'm never really able to be in there, but they're all helping each other. And so you, you following your, what you love to do, you following that hobby is going to open up doors that you never expected to open. And it's, and that's that idea of going back to what you said in the beginning, Jay, about enhancing the experience because all of this for me and for you, Jay, has turned into a business, has turned into a way of, of, of making a living. But that's not how it started. It started as something that I just really wanted to do. And it's still something I really want to do. And so that's what I want to encourage you guys. And it's so like, and it doesn't have to be like Jay and I met through the quote unquote truth or community, whatever, whatever your platform is. One of the best examples I can use is a woman named Toddy Westbrook. I don't know if you guys know who she is. Toddy Westbrook is a makeup artist and she started, she has like over a million subscribers. She started doing makeup on YouTube and now she's got her own makeup line. She, she's become, she's used this as a way to monetize and create a life for herself. And I, as somebody who spent my whole life wearing no makeup am very grateful for the makeup artist, cause that's how I had to learn how to do makeup to come on camera every <laughs> So, so it could just be something, or maybe you're a quilter or you, or you love to knit, you know, there's so many different things you can do to create that, that, that presence for yourself. That's going to then open up more doors with people that also resonate with that. If that makes sense. hundred percent. It makes sense. And, 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 and look, we, we have the technology today again, for you to be able to look, look, it doesn't take much to be an expert. You just need to know a little bit more than the people that are watching you. That's it. <laughs> That's a little bit more than the people where people think, oh, they're spiritually raw. We're expert. I mean, you know, listen, we interview people. I mean, we download it. We watch them and you know, that that's how it works. I mean, that's it. We're all learning from each other. I mean, let's not be naive. There's no, there's nobody that has any exact answers here, but we have best practices. We have best things. And, you know, we have best ways to live. Like you said, if you want to be a quilter and that's your thing, you know, there's a whole quilting community i'm sure that would like to do that i mean you know there, there's whatever you can imagine it means it's meaning someone and my belief in that if you're imagining it it's already it's being done you know what i mean yeah. there's people looking for it that means there's a call something's triggering your psyche right now or your spirit to say why don't you throw out some information if you're passionate about this look you know the, the whole essence behind this exercise is we live in a world where the world can celebrate you. You can you can have an amazing experience. You can have a blessing. You don't have to feel like you're worrying. You don't have to feel like this is it. And, and there's just ways to do it. Part of the existence that, you know, again, my own personal experience kind of getting back from before is it's the fun of the game. If we if we treat it as if it's a game, everybody, it's it's it'll lighten the load and then you won't maybe take things so seriously. You'll realize, oh, I got bumped down. I get to put another quarter in the machine again and go again. This time I'm going to get it. And if you think about it in that kind of context, then you'll think about it. You're not being punished and you're not being rewarded. You just are. You just get a chance. Corrected. You're just being course corrected when, when something, and I'll tell you, I mean, people are always like, I don't know what to put. Let me tell you guys, my, some of my favorite channels to watch that I've recently discovered are walking tours. If you live in a, say you, I love history. I'm a huge history lover. I could probably do a walking tour in Atlanta. Take, just take my phone. These people I watched the other night, I watched somebody on her cell phone. She was in white chapel in London where all the Jack the Ripper murders happened. And you know what she did? She just walked around and showed you where all the murders happened and told the story of Jack the Ripper. That thing has millions of views, and she's on her freaking phone. So mm -hmm. if, you, if you're if you in Paris, there's a guy in Paris that I follow that I've started watching his walking tours where he shows you where the Moulin Rouge is. He shows you, you know, the, this is a lot of people dig this stuff. And so you that the, 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 the possibilities are endless. All it takes is for you just to try, for you just to start. Yeah. And you don't want to use things like linear things like so let me help you everybody that are watching here because I because we talk to so many people. And these are the common things that kind of get people to do anything and look and, and listen. And this is what we're here for, because we truly empathize with the fact that there is a real fear. There is a real legitimate fear of success. Mm -hmm. What if I do make it? What if I do go there? You yeah. know what I mean? So sometimes it's the failure part, but there's a real success there. Like, are you ready for this? And I think you really are. I think at this point you are, but don't get caught up in the, well, what do I call it? Let me write this. I always tell people like this when I'm consulting with people on advice. I'm like, you know what? 
you can you'll come up with a name before you start and all of a sudden you'll be talking through it and something will trigger with you and you'll be like holy shit that's my name that's what i'm going to call it because you channel it you see what i mean you when you're when you're when you're in that mode of trying to do that you know and you're not at that place yet it, it's it's helpful to do this so sometimes you just start talking Call it the whatever your name is show for now and just start getting in a rhythm. And I'm telling you, once you do that, your your guides will come through, your spirit or whatever you call it, angels will come through and will tell you, you'll get the direction. You'll know, you'll have such a knowing what to call your show, how to describe your show, what exactly do you do, but you're only going to do it by getting through it. So don't try to do it so much and spend all this time. Well, okay, well, let me do a 30, 45 day plan. No, you're lying to yourself. You absolutely are lying to yourself if you do that. Just damn go. You know, you're just you're just trying to buy yourself time for the to push yourself. Hey, listen, you know what? I always tell people it's your life. You want to get 30, 45 days, kick the can down the road, it's up to you. But if you want to take action, then go. You know what I mean? Start I don't the believe drive. yes. I love how you're talking about the name too, because that is literally what happened to me. I have been thinking about doing what when I walked down happened doing a channel with folklore, and I was like, what am I gonna call it? What am I? and then all of a sudden it just came to me, Esoteric Atlanta because it's esoteric folklore. And I was like, and I went immediately, it was just this boom. And I went and I registered it, made sure that it was available. That was a domain that was available. I registered it. I went, opened up an Instagram account before I had put any videos up. I just went, opened up that Instagram account. And yeah, it just, and once you get that, you just go with it. And you're right, Jay, it's it's funny, the psychology, because we, we see this with people, oh, I'm going to start the diet tomorrow, or oh, I'm going to start my channel next week, or oh, I'm going to do this once this happens. And the psychology behind that is that when we think of our ourselves in the future we're thinking of ourselves as a different person right and so we're not so we're not living that experience and so that's why it's so important just to start and if your first video is crap you should i mean my first video got taken down but you should see some of my earlier videos they're not that great but the great thing about platforms like youtube is once you start to get better guess what you can take down those old videos if you want to if you're not happy with them right and everybody starts somewhere nobody is born just doing stuff right you 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 learn as you go and so so jay let's say somebody is like watching right now they, they how can they contact they just contact the number do they text should they just text the number what should they text your number text uh text bryce text the word bryce and text the word media m-e-d-i-a right and then we're not going to know what you're talking about let's set up a console let's talk through it see where you're at i mean let's get let's let's see where you're there too because you know you you, you know, i i for this to work for you, you want to be at a place where you're not going to need us to tell you, you should do this. You're going to be like, I want to do this. Show me freaking how to do it. You want to come from that place. That that's that's what that's I always recommend that to people because that's how you make it work. Because you know that you don't know. I mean, I do things I don't know all the time, but I know like I'll call those people and be like, you know, I'll bug the shit out of them until I get an answer. You know what I mean? And that's what you want to do is you want to be at that place in your life. If you're ready that's what you want to do. You you don't want to, you know, uh, you know, uh, and I tell people, Bryce, look, you know, we're not, your, I'm not your life coach. You know what I mean? But I'm here to help you pragmatically get through. <laughs> you know what I mean? When, when you're ready, boom, I'll give you a blueprint. That'll work. If you just stick yeah, with it. Push. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you the blueprint. That'll work. But you got to, you got to come and be ready. You really do. Um, you know, I always tell people that before we speak, let's get energetically prepared because because if we're a vibrational match together, then we can align together. Even doesn't matter whether, you know, I've been doing this for 10 years and you haven't even thought about it yet, or you, you're 10 minutes on your radar. But look, if the energy's there, the energy's there. Energy knows no time. You know right, what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. We'll, we'll connect the energies together and go. And then you'll be able to utilize what we've done in our years and be able to get there in like 10% of the time. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And imagine this, Jay, as I'm hearing you, I'm thinking, you know, because so many people live with depression. We know that depression and anxiety are really, really common. Um, I've struggled with it. I know a lot of people have. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, depression has become so common amongst mankind, and it shouldn't be. And I think, you know, a lot of people then just go, and if you need med medication, that's totally your your prerogative to do that. But how, what if it was just such such a simple solution as, like, living your authentic self? It's, what if that depress depression is your soul going, this is not why I came here? It's It's got to be. I mean, I look, no medical advice here, disclaimer, disclaimer. Yeah. But I think it's got to be something like that. I mean, imagine your spirit being in here and you're not and your spirit's not allowed to do what it's supposed to do. It's going to feel pretty messed up. And then all of a sudden it's got you got this you got this energy ball of energy within you that is just 
it's in chaos right now, causing you whatever's going on in your body and all the symptoms you're feeling. Could it be like what you said? Think about this, everybody, what Bryce just said. Could that possibility exist? Your spirit, the reason you're not feeling the best or you're sick and you've got all this shit that's happening that nobody can diagnose, could it be your spirit's just freaking the fuck out <laughs> and saying, show me, I, I want to do something. I didn't come here for this. No, I came here. Yeah. It must be as simple as that. Could it be as simple as that? Why don't you try on releasing your spirit? Why don't it's you try worth on a shot. Jeez, yeah. And I see it too, Jay. I'm going to bring this up too, because I know we're on a time crunch here because you got another another Zoom. But I want to say too, we live in a very materialistic world, and I know I enjoy getting, you know, having luxurious stuff too, like the next person. But sometimes I think that people strive so much for that materialistic gain or being able to, because they're so unhappy that they're they're looking for something outside of themselves to help themselves be happy. But if they were doing something they authentically loved, they wouldn't feel the need to be as attached to material. You know, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I know for me, when I started to really work on myself, I became more of a, a minimalist because I was getting to the root of what the issue was. And therefore I know for me, whenever I feel like I'm slumping into that depression, I ask myself, where am I experiencing joy in my day? I'll tell you guys a really funny story. One, really quickly. One thing I know when I'm starting to feel like in that depressed state, I can go on very little sleep. That's the Vata in me. I think you're very Vata too, Jay. But I know that I'm starting to feel more depressed if I'm going to bed earlier and earlier and earlier. Well, lately, I've been going to bed earlier and earlier and earlier, but I haven't really been feeling depressed. And I was like, this is weird. And then I realized, oh, it's because we got a new mattress. <laughs> I really enjoy laying in the, mat the memory foam mattress. <laughs> so there's joy in that moment. It'll wear off. But, um, but you know, so so think about that. To really sit there. My teacher in India, this is what I love about the my Indian teachers, is they say things so simply sometimes. There's no, it's very simple. And my teacher in India will say, why fearing? Why are you afraid? And he'll just look at you and say, why are you fearing? Why fearing? And so then you, that, that forces you to really go and say, why am I afraid to take this leap of faith? Why am I afraid? You don't have to give up your corporate job at this moment, but you can start at the same time working on eventually of escaping that and, and creating that hobby as, 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 your, as your lifeline. And just, so why are you afraid? Are you afraid people are going to laugh at you? Are you afraid? Listen, we get trolled all the time. And that's one thing. You do develop a very thick skin when you when you have a platform. And everybody gets trolled. Every single person in the on YouTube gets trolled. It's it's not that big of a deal, right? So so you, you start to think about that. What is stopping you? Because usually it's you stopping yourself, right? It's usually you stopping yourself. So what is stopping you? You know, it's it's it's. Like you said about, you know, what what are people thinking and everything like that? I mean, you know, you're gonna you're gonna make a decision and do this and you're gonna say, Hey young, and tell your friends I'm doing your sh I'm doing a show, and then some of your people that are gonna be like, Well, what are you gonna talk about? Then they're gonna you know what I mean? So listen, actions speak louder than words. Just do it. Yeah, what I would do is if you're thinking about doing this, just do it, get mm -hmm. out there and show the action. Hey, look what I did, not what I'm thinking about doing. Let yeah. your We'll see you in action because if you when you start to talk see here's the thing because you don't really know what you're doing yet so i want to try to give some best advices for people watching you don't know what you're doing yet you don't know exactly what you're going to talk about so you're going to have a shit ton of people ask you these questions what are you going to do what are you going to talk about what's the name of your show going to be what are you going to do who's your audience blah 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 have you defined it you're going to ask you all these linear kind of questions right that you don't know the answer to yet because you haven't talked it out so what i would recommend you do is don't say a damn thing and please some people that don't even know what you're talking about because you don't know what you're talking about. Do a show, show them the evidence of what you did. Let them feel your energy and let them see you in that light. Actions always speak louder than words, everybody. Really, don't, don't, don't go talking to don't my best advice to you is that whatever business you decide to do, show them that it's done and then come back and say, look what I did. Not look what I'm thinking of doing. Because then, and then you're trying to defend something to people that really don't understand what you're even going through. And then you take advice from people who have absolutely no experience in what you're about to go through. And they have no skin in the game. They have no, skin, no skin in the, in the game. game. And there's a quote that misery loves company. And so sometimes when people see a friend that's actually taking that, that leap of faith, it triggers them. And so right. they react towards you to try to get you not to do it because then that forces them to have to read. So absolutely, Jay, I would say... You know, that don't, I mean, I come from a family of doctors. I am definitely the black sheep of my family. I went off to India. I'm 
and I and I don't regret it at all because it is it has meant all the world to me and it's really me living my life. And so you have to don't worry about making everybody else happy. What's going to make you happy? Because yeah, you are going to go through that that metamorphosis, but you are going to end up meeting like I met Jay in April, I met Catherine Edwards, I met all these people that have come into my life and made my life better for it because I decided to open up a YouTube channel, right? So so I would really don't why fearing? I just I, ask yourself why am I afraid? What what am I what am I fearing? Fear, fear is false evidence appearing real. That's all it is. It's false evidence appearing real. So anyway, Jay, so I know you got to jump on another Zoom call. Is there anything you want to close out with today? Well, you know, it's always great to hang out with you. And thanks for always creating the space. Oh, for the Thank you so much. I, I just, you know, when people that just, just know that life doesn't have to be hard, along the way you'll meet people in your life that have figured out a lot of what you're looking for that will minimize your time. And I think you're looking at two of them right now. So I would just reach out and realize that things can be easy if you position it. Believe me, there's businesses that I've done that I've done there, but it didn't take me having to research it. It took me talking to the people that had spent the years doing it. And that's all I did. So I got in there 20 years of head and learned in 20 years what, what they in two hours what they what the, what it took them 20 years to do. That's 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 the path you want to follow. So you don't have to feel like Oh my God, I have to do with us all again. You know what I mean? And then the energy behind everything. So uh, find your vibrational match, get, get, find your soul people. Your life will be better as a result of it. And you just will just start to look at things differently. You won't feel the pressures, the things of life. I mean, there's no reason to live like that. There just isn't. And, you know, it's, it's just a, it's a beautiful life. Just allow yourself to be there. We're happy to help. Thank you everybody for listening to me. Absolutely, guys. And I know I'm going to ask right now, I know we've talked about Jay in the, in the future doing a, a question and answer show. So I'm going to encourage you guys, if you have any questions about this that you you feel comfortable asking in the comment section, you can always ask those in the comment section and we can address them in a future show. Or if you want to keep it more personal, you can always send me an email at esotericatlanta at gmail.com and just put question in the subject for Jay and I can we can uh, address it on a show and keep you anonymous. Um, and so, yeah, and absolutely, I'd love for you guys to contact Jay. All that information is down in the description box below. It always is. Uh, I know I get questions about this a lot. You have to hit the show more button, guys. So if you're looking below, below your screen the way it's not i didn't design it this way jay didn't design it this way youtube designed it this way so they're not it's not going to show the full description box you have to actually click the show more button or the down arrow depending on what device that you're on whether that's a uh, laptop an ipad or an iphone sometimes half of the description box will pull up and you have to pull the rest up too so just keep clicking those buttons and it will it'll all pull down for you so all right well tell april i said hello and I will see you talk. <laughs> thank you We'll talk to you guys all very soon. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Thanks.